welcome to ZZ Talk with Zeus and Zena. This is the podcast of two uh, two normal guys who talk about everything and anything, including entertainment, sports, and a heavy dose of politics. Last week was a heavy dose of politics, so this week we're going to condense our politics deck down um, for for your listening pleasure or viewing pleasure, since we're a YouTube show, not a not a podcast just yet. Not we're yet. working on that. Yes. Ain't that right? Yes, yes, we are. <laughs> so anyways, uh, real quickly, uh, we're, we're going to bring back something that we haven't really done that often as we should, which is uh, the correction section. But I wanted to ask uh, Zeno real quickly, what's up with you, man? What's, what's going on? Uh, not much, man. Uh, it's, been, it's been a less hectic week than the prior one. Um, it's been good. Not, not a lot going on. I had picture day um, two days ago, like I'm in elementary school uh no my uh <laughs> the the my realtor uh, reached out to me and said that her company was doing complimentary um professional photos for all their clients and she was like would you like one and i was like well i haven't done one since 2015 um so it'd be get, nice to get an update so i did that and i wore this not the undershirt which makes me look like i'm gonna bust out to superman but i wore this and, and <laughs> what? I'm sorry, but that undershirt for some reason, as soon as you did that, made me think of uh, oh, oh, be quiet. Uh, vote for Pedro, that movie, oh, Napoleon, oh, oh, Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite, yeah, Napoleon Dynamite yeah. Shirt. so um, so but anyway, so I wore this shirt and I really liked how the pictures came out, so I was like, I'm gonna wear this shirt for this recording. Um, <laughs> but that's that's been my week. How about you? All right, so um. So there's one thing that I like to do, uh, which is, um, as you can tell, I own a lot of books. I always tell people I'm not really a bookworm because a bookworm is like deep in a book every single time you see them, right? But I'm more of a bibliophile, which means I just enjoy owning books. I really like to go into thrift stores and buying the hell out of books. If I see an interesting book, I'll get it. But I don't read as much as I sh- as I would like to. But this year, I made sure one of my new my app. One of my, um, what did we call it last week? My um, resolutions. Resu- resolutions. The resolutionary. My one of my resolutionary personal resolutionary uh, resolutions was to read to read more, and I have a list of the books that I want to read. But on Twitter, people have been using the term Orwellian mm-hmm. for you know George Orwell, saying Way too that much. we're going through, huh? Way too much. <laughs> and then. Every single, and you know, these are people who I, who I follow, who are very intelligent are like, you keep using that. They're like, uh, what is it? The Disney princess, the princess, princess bride, where uh, they're like, you keep using that word, but you, I don't think you know what it means. Mm. And so a lot of people is like, if you haven't uh, read George Orwell's Animal Farm in 1984, this isn't it. So I'm, I actually going to start reading those two books because I actually do own them. I just never read them. Mm. Just to be like, well, let me know what the hell this term is about, because I'm I, I'm not using the term because I have no idea what the hell the term's about. You know, not re- not in reality. I mean, you could probably easily look it up and define it. And I'm pretty sure Wikipedia will be like, yeah, what they're saying right now is not it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's something that I, I'm 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 going to be doing is just uh, catching up on some reading. Uh, but anyways, if there's nothing else that's been going on with your life, let's uh, jump straight into. Uh, the corrections. Corrections. Um, sure. Well, you're the one doing the corrections, right? So you got to... And it's really only one correction, mm-hmm. which is... Is every the correction is just to make sure that I provided the name? I mentioned in our previous conversation how um, progressive politics or different politics, how I think that jungle ballots should be coming the more norm. So it allows different people from different identified parties to be able to come in. And one of them was a Green Party. So the, the person that I said that won the Green Party in California, I know his name now. His name is Emmanuel Estrada, mm-hmm. and he is the mayor of the city of Baldwin in California. So Bald, Baldwin? Baldwin, yeah. Baldwin. Okay, like, like Alec and Stephen. And the rest city of, of Baldwin Park. So Baldwin it's like, Park. Yeah, instead of trees, they have Alec Baldwin. They have um, the other Baldwin brothers just, just chilling, you know? Okay. Um, I think Alec Baldwin's probably the only one that, you know, wouldn't be able to, doesn't have the time to be a tree. The other ones I think they do. But anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's, that's my correction. Uh, you say you don't have any? I don't. But speaking of um, Perfect, independent uh, mayors, um, 
it's so funny that that's the correction you had today because uh, literally today I was watching a YouTube clip from 1981, the Today Show, and it was Phil Donahue um, interviewing a newly minted mayor from uh, Burlington, Vermont, uh, Bernard Sanders. Uh, <laughs> and he was talking about socialism in New England. And it was actually a really good interview. Uh, you can tell a lot of Bernie's um, things that s still persist today. Um, but he won, there were, there were only 9,550 votes cast in that election. And Bernie won by 10 votes. Yeah, so it was, it was crazy. So I, I, was was like, I was fascinated. And it's crazy, right? When you look back at his videos, he really hasn't, his ideology really hasn't changed. Yeah, 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 it's you pretty know? much the same. That's that's one thing about him. He is he is consistent. Hey, that's why guys like uh, what's his name for uh, Joe Rogan said that he was like that's the reason he said he would have voted for him if he had um gotten the presidential nod. He says that he was like I'd probably vote for Bernie because he's consistent. He's never really changed. He's just always been the same. Yeah. Kind of like doesn't go which way the the the, the wind blows. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, to get my Pocahontas on with the colors of the wind. Uh, speaking of Pocahontas. There's something that we, me and, me and Zeno just wanted to talk about. Um, and Zeno show the clip of, or the, of the photo. I'll, it'll be a picture. Yeah. Um, so there's a Disney animated short mm -hmm. that came out. And I remember seeing it. I don't know if you rem if you saw it before this controversy. or the, no, So I, I saw it before, before. And, I, and I noticed it and I was like, okay. You know, which is basically, it, it's, it's a, it's a. And the character's not a character in the short. It's just one of those, like, I guess they're going down, like, it's just walking down the street or something like that, right? I don't think she's an actual character, is she? So just a random, like, an extra, basically. I mean, maybe I'll see the short and um, know for sure, but I don't think she's really uh, an act, like, there's, she's a character or anything. She's just there, like, just in the background. And um, so it's 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 a cartoon with, um, with, with the long, blowing red hair, curly blowing red hair she's a white girl and and as i pointed out on on facebook she's thick with a capital because she is like her butt is like as it's bigger than her body right it, it's disproportionate it's it doesn't it doesn't make sense in the natural world um, yeah. but yeah she's well, like really thick. if you go into cartoons a lot of them don't make since in the right. natural world me and you did you watch doug when you grew up doug yeah i did there was purple people there yeah purple people green that ain't make sense and and doug the creator of doug said yeah we did this to basically say you shouldn't see any color which kind of you make it think about it, it was like why is the main character white though you know <laughs> he's the only real white person there right yeah. but that was the reason why he did that and then as Zeno pointed out, he saw uh, he saw the article on this after a big controversy because the big controversy is that I guess they're saying it's promoting um, un yeah unrealistic uh, unrealistic but, body, body um, what's well, not not body rules but um, body dysphoria something like so so it, it basically they're they're arguing that you know children and and you know, people that this is targeted at, right? Because it's an animated show. Children are going to watch this and feel like, oh, I should have, you know, I, I should have a big butt or your yeah, hips like, you know, blah, blah. But I don't. And um, this short is like making me feel bad about myself. And, you know, Zeus and I were talking about it. I don't know. I personally didn't see anything wrong with it. I feel like it's one of those things where people just want to be aggrieved by it. Uh, the 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 tweet that Zeus is talking about that I saw was it showed four different character models and it was like characters of different shapes and sizes, and isn't that the point of it all? Like humans come in different shapes and sizes. Come in different no, shapes. No, you know? no one is saying that you know because this person is shaped like a coke bottle that um, you know you are worth less. You know, like and so, I was never a little girl. Right, but I was a little boy. Word. <laughs> I, I mean, you're right. My my. Sometimes my wife does call me little boy when I'm being bad. But uh, the people who complain about the shows when we were kids, 
weren't us at our age. It was the parents. Mm-hmm. Honestly, mm-hmm. we were we were kids in the age of of well, I don't because I guess you were still in um, Nigeria or South Africa at the time, but South Park came out right we, when South had, Park came. We had TVs. I knew <laughs> I had TVs, but I I've heard from my African friends that you know yeah we we see yeah we just barely getting uh what's it called. <laughs> South Park episodes now, but well, um, funny thing, I never watched an episode of South Park before watching Bigger, Longer, and, and Uncut, and I saw that in theaters in South Africa. But so, like, the show wasn't airing, but the movie came out in yeah. theaters. So I came, I went into the movie blind. I was like, oh, this is this is not for me. This I'm like 11 years old. <laughs> <laughs> That kind of reminds me of my friend how he told me he was like yeah I was like I was like, he was like no I have to I have to preview some of the cartoons because sometimes you don't know what's gonna be shown and he was talking about Sausage Party oh, and he was like God. he was like yeah he was like I'm glad oh, no. I did that first because he was like he was like he was like no I told the kids they couldn't watch it he was like but I watched it like three times already you know and it's, <laughs> but but for real going back to to the conversation. The people who are complaining now, the people who are complaining are our age Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. we're the parents, right? But my thing is, I'm like, you know, when you were a kid, you weren't really having these kind of thoughts. You know what I mean? Like, maybe something like, oh, I wish I had that room. Like, hey, the biggest envy that I had was Hey Arnold's room. Mm -hmm. Arnold, Hey Arnold, remember his bat that badass room he had in the attic where it was like, I don't. It's been so long. Oh, if you've never, oh, if you don't remember, he had a the badass room it was in the it was in the top floor of his um because i guess they were in new york so they had like it was like a um it was like a not a hotel but it was kind of like where people rented uh rooms okay and it was, his was a, like a hostel top. huh a hostel yeah he had a skyscraper like the 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 top was like uh just the glass so you could see up in the sky the room was cute that was the biggest envy i had i didn't have body dis but again in all fairness, we're not girls, so I guess there could be a conversation had that, you know, maybe they there's a legitimate gripe. Right? But I can speak as a person who used to be a kid. A lot of times when parents have a certain argument about certain things, mm-hmm. it's really just the parents' discomfort because we didn't give a damn about Eminem killing his wife on the CD. We weren't going to go. We weren't thinking this was normal. We just were listening to the songs. Yeah. It just you know what I'm saying? Sounded, it was a beat and yeah, some exactly. lyrics. Um, the one thing I will say about um, the the thick character is that um, I, I would understand some of the gripe if and, and again I haven't seen the short itself. I've only seen that article that you, you're referencing. I would understand if in the shorts, you know, this character is like all the guys are like ogling her, and she's like the object of everyone's desire. And this object of everyone's desire is someone that you know is built like that. And that I can understand, you know, people thinking, oh, little girls are gonna look at this and think, in order to be desirable, I need to look like this thing that's not achievable. But if, like you say, she was literally just a character that walked by or whatever, then I think it's one of those things where people just want to be mad about something. Yeah, you know, people just can't leave well enough alone. I'll try to watch because I think it's on Disney Plus, right? I I would think so, yes, because it's yeah, supposed it's to Disney be Plus, in front of everything's Moana. getting released straight to Disney Plus. Um, if it's on Disney Plus, I'll check it out. And then if it turns out that I was wrong, that hey, this really was kind of like what you said, where like everybody's trying to attain her and all that stuff, you know? Yeah. yeah. Then, you know. Yeah, like I'll- like especially if you know that's the case, everyone's trying to get with her, and then there's like some dumpy looking girl. Um, <laughs> Shaped like an upside down wine glass uh, <laughs> that, that no one wants. Then I can get where people would be like, "Hey, that's not you know, yeah, shouldn't do that." Um, but it seems like much to do about nothing. But we'll see. We'll we'll watch the show to get back to you guys on that. And we'll let y'all know. Um, but she was thick with a capital. So, anyways, yes. all right, man. So-